He's been described as a quiet professional who was never in it for the accolades. And now more than a decade after his death, a fallen soldier is being honored as a hero by his community. Robert Miller was a Wheaton native who was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor in 2010. On this Memorial Day, our Jackie Kostek shares his story through the people who knew him, loved him, and will never stop telling his story. Robert James Miller had just started his senior year at Wheaton North High School when the planes hit the towers. Seven years later, he died an American hero on a battlefield in Afghanistan. He was 24 years old. And one of his teammates surely spoke for all of them when he said of Rob, I would not be alive today if not for his ultimate sacrifice. In 2010, Miller was awarded the nation's highest medal of valor, the Medal of Honor. The heroics of that night detailed in a five-page citation. It's a story Miller's close friend Bobby Kay knows by heart. Uh, the, the evening of 24th, his uh, team, his ODA, was tasked to go into the Kunar province. Once the ambush in initiated, his team broke while he stayed and fought. As he continued pushing, he was, he was struck underneath his chest plate between where the plates sit uh, and continue to fight. Where does your like heart go when you tell that story? I wasn't sure if it was going to hold or not, but it didn't, obviously. Um, after 15 years of saying that, speaking about that story, um, reading the citation, the uh, sworn statements, being there at the Medal of Honor ceremony in D.C. in 2010, um, naming my first son after him, keeping up with his family, it still hurts. In the 15 years since Miller gave his life, Kay has kept his memory alive. And he's not alone. At Wheaton North High School, daily reminders of the heroism of someone who walked the halls not too long ago. So here I am. So I was a freshman, and this is Bobby Kay, and he was very close to Rob. Kyle Padera teaches English at Wheaton North. He was a freshman on the gymnastics team when Kay and Miller were seniors, captains who took the team to state. The more we can bring people up and show that they were honestly real, it helps a lot. And so the connection that I had with him is that he was tough. He was tough on me. Panera shares stories about Miller as a way to humanize a man memorialized throughout the school. Now the head gymnastics coach, Greg Gebhardt, was then an assistant. And gymnastics is hard. I mean, Rob started when he was a freshman. He was a, he was a state finalist, and that doesn't happen without a lot of work and dedication. I and mean, I think just that story transcends not necessarily, you know, what he, what he did in combat, which was tremendously heroic but just, you know, the ideals that he had. Remembered and honored as the human he was on this Memorial Day and every day. I just can't understand still to this day. It's hard, but it's still, it still makes you understand that you're, you're free, that you're available, that you're, you're walking around in free country because of guys like him. You really are. It's not cliche at all. In Wheaton, Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. Well, the full heroics of what Miller did on January 25th, 2008 are detailed online, and we have a link on our website. You'll find it at cbschicago.com.